Today I'm going to give you a quick tour of my hog lot or pig lot setup that I have. Right here is the initial pin that I put them in. I backed up my trailer, let them in through that gateway right there that's now closed and then kept them in this pin for just a couple of days. I got electric fence set up around the edge to help train them to the electric fence. Then after a couple days, I turned them out into this much larger lot that encompasses a pond and the woods, and it's surrounded by this two-wire electric fence. I'm sure I could get away with just one wire, as I see lots of other folks doing that, but I'm just not that confident <laughs> in the fence yet, but so far it appears to be working. But... Anyhow, so we'll take a little walk around here. We'll walk up to the pond. Got this pond here. Old stock tank dug years ago. And it holds... A little bit of water in the bottom usually right now it's kind of full or not full but fuller than normal just because we've had some rain recently but I'm hoping the pigs will help seal this one up to where it'll fill up much fuller than this this is a pretty large area I have fenced off for them the fence goes clear on the other side of the pond up the hill there just a ways right on the other side of the pond. Sorry for the glare, it's early in the morning. Anyhow, and then goes off over in that direction a ways, and then down in and comes into my yard a little bit by my house there. It's where I have the feeder. This is the upper side of the lot in the back, or the upper fence. There's the pond down below. So they have all this wooded area. It's some cedar trees help provide some shelter. And there's some oak trees dropping walnut, or not walnuts, oak trees dropping acorns in here for them to feast on. But as I said, it's a pretty large pin. It's probably at least an acre or so, maybe closer to two acres. And down here I put out a bale of straw for them the other day to give them something to bed in. I'll, I'll bring some more straw in today as the nights are getting cooler. It was 30 this morning. You can see they've had a pretty good bedding area right there, but I'll bring some more bales of straw in and spread around. Give them some more options for places to bed down. You can see they've been rooting around, finding things to forage on. And this area over here was all thick cedar trees. But I cut down a bunch of those trees and now I didn't get them cleaned up and so now it's starting to grow back in, get filled in with brush and weeds and small tree saplings starting to come up. So hopefully the pigs will go ahead and clear this out, open it up so I can get back in here and they'll take out several of these saplings for me, the pigs will, but then I'll go ahead and clean up the rest once they open it up for me. Anyhow, it goes on down that way just a little ways farther and then loops around right behind my house and down into my yard. And then feeders right down below here. So the jury's still out on this feeder. I filled it up several bags full of feed the other day, and within a day they had unloaded the whole thing on the ground, just scooped it out with their noses, flung it all over. So I'm not sure if I'm going to 
keep using that or not. So what I did today was just went ahead and poured a day's worth of feed in there. So I'm not going to lose several days worth. And I might have to make some modifications to it or maybe just go ahead and get rid of it and get a, a different feeder. But so far, they seem to really like it. Uh, they created a pretty good wallow for themselves, themselves, right down there, and it's kind of holding some water. But hopefully, it should be a big enough area to hold them through the winter till spring when they're they're gonna farrow. That one down there, bossy, she's due to farrow uh, March 25th. And then this lighter colored one, Blondie, she's due April 7th. And then Little Red here, she's due April 11th. Anyhow, that's my pig lot set up for now. And lots of brush and weeds in here, brambles that hopefully they'll be able to clear out under these trees, these vines grow up and they choke the trees out, kill the trees. So I'm hoping the pigs will come in and clear a lot of those vines out, open it up here on the ground and uh, allow some grass to start growing, especially over in this area where I cut the trees down because I do graze cattle also. And my hope is to use these pigs to start opening up some more ground. Here's the charger that I'm using to electrify the pig lot. It's the Gallagher S12 solar. It's a all self-contained unit and you just clamp it right onto the ground rod. And that's how you ground it. There's no separate ground cable for it. And it's just adequate size for this pin. If this pin was much larger, it wouldn't be enough to charge it. But it's just enough. Like I said, it's probably a couple acres with this two strand wire. And if I had maybe if I had a longer or better ground rod it might do a little bit better than it is, but it's sufficient for this size pin. Keeps the fence hot enough to Keep the girls in. <laughs> 